pre-workout time. We're gonna get that Friday pump in. Ooh, it's so bright. What are you doing tonight, Amy? I'm hitting uh, quads today. You? I'm doing glutes. So we're both doing legs, but... We're targeting different muscles. Yeah. We'll probably work out some workouts together. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I'll do a little bit of glutes. Okay. I don't know how much you take. Anyways, guys. Ooh, it's about to be lit. Oh my god, sorry, I take a lot. No, I don't. I thought this was a little bit. Talia has a major caffeine addiction. Major caffeine addiction. Like, she literally can't go without pre workout. It's so bad. Okay, you guys, so here I am warming up my glutes. So I always tell you guys this, like how important it is for me to activate my glutes, activate my quads and legs, hamstrings, everything. Um, I always do about two to three sets of maybe three different workouts um, again. I always do this right before my leg day. It just really helps me with like preparing for my actual workout. So I think it's important for you to focus on different activating workouts, one for the glutes and another one for your legs. Okay, so whenever you're about to do a heavy workout, just any workout in general, just I always, always make sure that I have proper form. So right here, you see me literally like get ready to lift um, this weight. I make sure the bar is close to my shins. I drop down my glutes and then I pick up with my legs and pull back with my shoulders you see me pull back with my shoulders and then obviously you want to squeeze your glutes in this process and again you're picking this up with your legs not with your back also what helps me balance out the weight is keeping my hands um, one over one over and one under in this workout as well you want to be able to feel the stretch on your hamstrings feel that stretch in the hamstrings um, and you can also be performing this workout a lot slower I start slowing down because I think about it and I'm like okay I need to slow down <laughs> so yeah So same thing here, I am preparing myself to lift this weight. I make sure my feet are at a good 90 degree angle. And again, I am lifting with my hips. And make sure your back, um, where I kind of measure my back is like where my bra line is. Also make sure that your chin stays tucked in when you are hip testing. So I superset this workout literally right after my hip thrust. Actually, all my workouts, um, I literally superset them just because I just find them to be more effective for me. Um, and yeah, I'm doing here donkey kicks with some side abductors.
And of course, you can't do one leg and not do the other one. So make sure you're doing both legs for the same reps. So I like squeezing my glutes after certain workouts just for like 10 seconds to make sure I'm feeling that tension. So this one actually, it's a little trick I just learned to target my hamstrings. So you're going to see me place myself um, not completely flat on the bench, but slightly, slightly lifting myself a little, my body a little bit up. So I can make sure that I am targeting my hamstrings. I don't know, like using this method has helped my hamstrings so much. So yeah, now I like doing it this way because I just feel like it targets my hamstrings more. Ah, so as you can see, my hamstrings are literally dying i was like checking out my butt of course you need to get some motivation in for your next set actually this next one is going to be more so to target my glutes Okay, so for this one, I am fully laying down on the bench, but as you can see, the way my legs come up, it's like I lift up my knees and that is going to help me target my glutes a lot more in this workout. So at this point, I'm literally just trying to murder my glutes. <laughs> so I'm doing this next workout. In this specific workout, I make sure I curl in and then I come back up and squeeze my glutes just to make sure I am targeting my glutes. So to end my workout, I am doing my hamstrings again. So as you can see for this one, I am slowly coming up. So I'm like counting to three in my head and then coming back down. Counting to three when I go up and then coming back down. This, this is going to hit, I promise you. Like these negatives are everything. Now I do the same exact thing, but with one leg, one leg. And I'm like literally dying. My hamstrings are like screaming at this point, but I do it with both feet and then with the other feet. Look at me, like it's okay. <laughs> You're gonna be fine after this workout. So I feel like I don't stretch as often as I should and lately now that I have been like trying to incorporate stretching has helped me so much like because there'd be times where I would literally feel so tight and I was like oh my god like I need to be stretching so this has helped me um, a lot even like do my workouts even better because I don't feel so 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 tight most people stretch also before the workout, but I normally just stretch after my workout at least for like five minutes. Friday! Y el cuerpo lo sabe! Shut up. <laughs> because I have I have to be up tomorrow. About in the morning. I always have to be up at Saturdays at 4 a.m. You guys, because I work at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I work on the weekends, guys. Some long ass shifts. I don't have weekends. They don't exist for me. And then if I go out, then you 
best know I'm not getting any sleep. <laughs> I'm not getting any sleep that weekend because. Put on your seatbelt, Tonya. I do have my seatbelt. You're the one who doesn't have oh. your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? You're dumb. <sighs> I'm so happy. I literally get so happy when I have a great leg day. And honestly, when I was on my, when we were on our way over here, I was feeling a little sleepy, but I was trying to like knock myself out of it. What about you? I had a crappy workout. It's because I kept burping. It was, was that banana we ate? No, it was. I mean, in the beginning, yeah. Because honestly, guys, eating a banana. I've, I told you guys this before, I think too, that like eating a banana like before your workout is pretty good. But we literally ate it like five right. minutes before. <laughs> So when we were working out and like lifting heavy, like for leg day, obviously, I kid you not, like in like one of my second sets when I was doing hip thrusts, <laughs> I almost threw up. I you had a baby bar. Dude, I felt nasty. I was like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, guys. So now on my way home, literally, I'm gonna drink a protein shake, make myself something to eat then make myself food for this weekend because I work so I'm gonna be on top on top on top of my game because we, we taking a trip soon guys oh, we yeah. taking a trip soon so I gotta look snatched all right I gotta look snatched I'm gonna keep you guys guessing comment down below where you guys think we're going because wait have we said it no we haven't huh I haven't said where we're going have you I forget me too but um we're gonna take a trip for spring break baby and it involves i'm gonna give you guys one hint it involves beachy vibes did that give it away all right you guys i literally just got home and like how i told you guys just gonna take a quick protein shake i just honestly i just put water and my tc1 protein i've talked to you guys many times about this protein so honestly there's like nothing so I pulled two scoops. It's 20 grams of protein. It has greens and it also has multivitamins. So that's why I really love this. You know what? I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to eat right now, actually. Okay, let me show you guys. Ooh! This is literally the fastest way. It like cooked in like 30 minutes. I have my last bit of chicken cooking. I have some shrimp cooking and I'm almost done guys. That pretty much does it though for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't a full day of eating, but you know, you guys got a little glimpse, little glimpse of what I do on my Friday night. I didn't really have an intro to this video. So I was like, I'm gonna show them what I do after my workout, you know? And yeah. Let me know if you guys like this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video. Oh, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to me, okay? Cause I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been posting at least once a week now, okay? It's probably not that noticeable cause it's just once a week, but just, just bear with me, bear with me, okay? <laughs> Because social media is like another full-time job. I was like crazy busy with the confident guide. And yeah, but, and other stuff. But um, I'm definitely, definitely trying to be consistent. I told you guys this. So at least for now, I'm going to be coming out with one to two videos a week, which is already as it is pretty hard, but I'm trying. So don't forget to subscribe to me. All right. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.